Hello my soccer universe, what an eventful week we had in Austria. We had the fallout from the Vienna Derby, we had a midweek round that included cup games but also two league makeup games and then we had a round in the Bundesliga on the weekend where we had all the big boys playing on Saturday because of European commitments but arguably the results on Sunday even outdid those. We have again a change on the top of the table and yes Let's start with Lusk. I think the week was good, but it is a weird feeling because you got an easy cup win of Schulz scoring a total of four goals. He is the life insurance for Lusk. You got a draw in Hütteldorf at Rapid, who were the league leaders when the game started. And you're falling to 11th because on Sunday, two teams overtook you with wins. Sounds a little bit weird, but I think I'm optimistic everything going up. Probably the best story of the week was Hartberg, who just had announced new coach Manfred Schmidt, who was let go of Wolfsburg at the end of the past season, of course, former Austria Vienna manager and also assistant manager to Peter Stöger for years. He goes to Hartberg, gets two wins in a row. Yes, both of them were rather lucky and maybe some refereeing decisions did go their way, but nevertheless, Hartberg made now six points when they had only made three so far in the season. So things looking up for them very much as well after their coach Markus shop left for better pastures in Linz. Not sure if they're better pastures. We also had the home streak of Blauwes Linz snapped after big wins against Austria and Rapid Vienna and Lusk. They lose at home to Stuttgart, who are now the league leaders. But I think what we really have to talk about is of course the fallout from the derby with all the nasty scenes that followed afterwards. It was really when I shot the video, I just had read about this and then I just saw a video where you see Rapid fans attacking the Austria Vienna block. Then a little bit more when I before I shot then the review video. It was yeah that Austria Vienna fans threw some crackers at Rapid fans in the family section and then it all went crazy. Whatever it may, we are still waiting for the verdict from the Bundesliga because there have been almost 600 separate cases reported to the police. An absurd number. And because of that, it all takes a while and it of course didn't help that Rapid had meanwhile another home game. It also didn't help that on the same day on Wednesday, Rapid had a cup game in Vienna and Austria were playing at home to Sturm Graz. Everything went fine. Both clubs are working together to find solutions to this problem. Both clubs have communicated that they will not allow away fans for the next four derbies to be played. And then an additional complication came up because in the cup Rapid then was drawn to Stripfing who play their home games at Austria Vienna's home stadium because they're a cooperation club. <sighs> Couldn't have gone worse, to be honest, but hey, we have to see. I'm sure there will be hefty fines, but most importantly, there needs to be a rethink of how to deal with fans, how to police, especially a derby. And this is what I'm waiting for. The fallout of this one will be extremely interesting. But with all that, I would say let's just recap the action that happened in the Cup, in the Bundesliga with makeup games and a full round. In a postponed second round cup game, Lusk had little trouble with third division Union Mauer beating them 4-0 away from home and it was the Robert Schul show. Yes, early chances actually fell to Mauer, were not too great, but then once Horvath kicks in the next gear pass, the defender plays it back to the penalty spot where Schul taps it in with the right foot into the left corner in the 19th minute and 15 minutes later the exact same goal, however it was a mirror image because it was Bella on the left side going past his opponent, playing it over to the penalty spot. The Robert with his left foot into the right corner. He adds in the third one right after the half and 55th and then Taui slams in one for a 4 nil. was an easy win, all that you needed. Rapid Vienna are waiting next. Speaking of Rapid Vienna, they had a little bit more trouble with Donaufeld who played actually at the Hohe Watt at this time, the stadium of first Vienna FC, because despite all their tries, Donaufeld kept it tight and actually used a goalkeeping error to make it 1-0 at the halftime. However, within 10 minutes of the restart of the second half, Rapid quickly turned the scoreline into their favor, Bellio with two goals and then Sangare, and it's an easy win for Rapid after a little bit of sweat. However, the easiest win came for Salzburg over Tony Porster Victoria after two and a half minutes Salzburg already up 2-0 through Radkov and Baidu and then they add two more in the second half. Yes there was a good chance for Victoria in there to cut the scoreline in half in the first half however Schlager makes a save other than that 
easy, easy win. In the upcoming round, Lask got a palatable draw with an away game at second division Voigtsburg, recently promoted. We have also Rapid going to Stripfing. We have Salzburg playing VSG Tirol in a Bundesliga duel and Sturm Graz hosting blau weiss Linz in another Bundesliga duel. And then the big one, if you would like, uh, Wolfsburg against Klagenfurt, which is of course a Corinthian derby. This will be played towards the end of October 29th to 31st. There are no dates yet. It was made in such a way that all the second league teams have a home game against the Bundesliga team. Gotta say, relatively soft draws for Salzburg and Sturm Graz with convenient home games against opponents that away from home you might have some trouble. But then, of course, as I said, it was all Stripfing against Rapid is a very contentious one in the sense that Stripfing, as I said, play at Austria Vienna's ground. As for Lask Volzberg, yeah, they have been recently promoted. I am so and so about that. It's a steering week. Uh, we play Sturm Graz at home, then we play Forsberg away from home, who are just south of Graz, and then we play Hartberg at home again. So I guess this fits in the calendar. Contentious is how we have to describe the game between Austria Vienna and Sturm Graz on Wednesday evening where Sturm completely dominated proceedings at a 2-0 halftime lead. Looked very comfortable after a rough week. Böwing and Jatta giving them the 2-0 lead. Then they have two yellow red cards within three minutes of each other for Karic and Jatta. So they're down to nine men. Within three minutes, Paris Winlöf pulls one back for Austria Vienna. Then Galvao heads one in in the 74th minute. Austria Vienna pushing for the winning goal, but they cannot get it. Sturm Graz hang on. And Chris Ilzer not happy about the referee at all. It is rare, if not unheard of, me wearing anything else but a Lusk shirt when I talk about the Austrian Bundesliga, but I just cannot hate on Hartberg. And yesterday they got their first win of the season thanks to a very late filler for goal in a super contentious game that featured goals that was called off, plenty of chances, maybe a red card should have been here and there. In the end, Hartberg get their first win and are sitting now on six points. With a 2-1 win at blau weiss Linz and help from other places, Sturm Graz now retake the top of the table after only drawing at Austria Vienna when they were down to nine men. But it was again a costly win. First things first, Beareth gave them the deserved lead. However, blau weiss Linz is really one of those teams that are really hard out going and taps it in from a short distance to give them the equalizer. And then Stankovic, yeah, he's going to get pushed around and injured himself on the hand. He had to come off at halftime, another stalwart in defense for Sturm Graz missing. However, Sturm Graz then really pushing Kitteschwili, running the show after he came on. He placed a pass that results in a penalty and converts the penalty himself for a 2-1 lead. And overall, I would say Sturm Graz deserved that win. However, blau weiss Linz had plenty of chances, especially Ronny Waldo. Clear one-on-one -on -one with the goalie, cannot pull it into the net. And so it ends with a 2-1 win for Sturm Graz. Two Oscar Gloch goals, one very early through a penalty and one very late, give Red Bull Salzburg a long-awaited win. They keep up the series of home wins against Austria Vienna. However, Austria Vienna did have some chances on the counter-attack. Overall, though, I would say Salzburg were just a tad better than them and deserved their win. And with games to spare, they are more or less the virtual leaders of the Bundesliga. It's probably fair to say that I looked with a little bit of trepidation towards Lusk's away trip to Rapid Vienna, who were first in the table, but in the end they get the 1-1 one -one draw with a little bit of luck, but also working hard for it. First half, I would argue, well, Lusk had probably the better chances even. Ljubicic and then Berisha, if he would have taken the ball with him, Rapid fully deserved to go 1-0 in at the half. I mean, they had a really good chance, but Burgstaller, who just toe-poked it and just missed the net, and then after a clearance error by I'm Atalovierov, all goes to Boller. He heads it in and Burgstahl, completely forgotten, that's the best striker of Rapid, heads it in. It's 1-0. Another remarkable fact about the game is there were only two fouls committed by Lask, telling you, yeah, Rapid A gave them a lot of pressure, but B, Lask were not really in the game. How about a change in the second half? Within a few seconds, there was a scene where Uza had the ball, he played it back to two Rapid players, Sangare and Schaub, who cannot really decide who is going to take a ball. You have it, I have it, blah, blah, blah. It is Berisha who intercepts it, plays it to Schul, who yanks it from a short distance into the net and it is 1-1 within seconds of the restart to the second half and then 
For a little bit, Lusk were better, however, towards the end, Rapid got better in the game. They brought on Janssen with a lot of speed, however, he then came out also with injuries. I really hated how bad the transition game was for Lusk, because there were many opportunities. If you played a little bit better, you probably could have scored. On the other side, we were really lucky, because Burgstaller with a thunderous shot hit just the inside of the post that was went out again. And then Wurmbrand, who also had come on, had a clear chance where he probably should have scored. He puts it wide. In the end, it ends 1-1. One, one. If you look at expected goals this was probably the right result i still feel this was a well earned but a rather lucky point for lusk but hey if you get a point at the leaders i think you should be happy of course repeat are not leaders in the table anymore In the midweek, under new coach Manfred Schmidt, Hartberg got the first win, a little lucky one, over VSG Tirol. And now they also beat the other Western team in Altach 2-0 at home. However, the game was seriously conditioned by a rather controversial yellow-red to Demaku in the 46th minute. And shortly thereafter, after Jai gives Hartberg the lead, it is then doubled by Mijic in the 68th minute. Hartberg now having two wins in a row. Things seemingly get rolling for them. The upset of the round clearly was VSG going to Wolfsburg and getting an absolutely deserved 3-1 win. Wolfsburg really not up to the races. VSG score early in the second half to give them a lead. Then Ustendag in the 69th doubles the lead that is quickly cut in half by Zukic. Just a minute and a half later, then Wolfsburg is trying hard to get the equalizer. It is a clearance out from Sulzbacher that in the end results in a counter-attack that Skribel taps home from a short distance. Famous win for VSG Tirol. And as attractive as they are to watch, GRK are still without a win. This time they lose at home to Austria Klagenfurt, when they actually had pretty good chances to score themselves. But in the end, it's just a more wily team from Klagenfurt that actually get the three points. Robert scoring the goal in the 34th minute. And, you know, with some luck, they even could make it too. But that would have been a little bit too much. Quickly on the current standings again, it's still an uneven table because Salzburg and Hartberg still have yet to play and also Salzburg have another game in hand against Austria Klagenfurt, a game that we still don't know when it will be played, probably deep in December if the conditions allow it. For that reason, Sturmgarts are very much the leaders right now, but if we look at the adjusted standings where I divide the points by the number of games played, we see of course that Salzburg are on top, so virtually Salzburg are the leaders. Stuttgart's currently are. Salzburg, of course, are still the big champions to win it all. In the next round, we have, of course, the big one. Last game before the international break, Sturm Graz against Salzburg. Those are the two top teams meeting each other. And should Sturm Graz win, then they would be true table toppers as well. However, I think this might as well end up in a draw. Lusk, after European commitments, have to play at home to Klagenfurt. Usually, I would expect a win. However, after a European game, it's always a hard ask for a win. On Saturday, I think Wolfsburg against Hartberg could be an interesting one. So that was it from me, from all the happenings from Austria in the past week. Please let me know in the comments below what you thought about this rather mad week. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Talk to you soon about more things in my Austrian Bundesliga universe. Bye! Hey there! I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day! Bye!